you would like to speak, the floor is yours. Please, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you very much. Um, can you explain under what rule, under the rules of procedure, you as the chair are allowed to give editorial comment on the previous speaker's speech? Um, as the president and what would assume is a neutral chair, what rules give you the right to give editorial comment on what any member of this House says? Can you explain the rules that give you that power, please? Well, if you're interested, naturally, I can tell you. I believe that our colleague... Would you listen to me, sir? So our colleague offended the president of the European Commission, and I don't think it is very polite in the European Parliament. Besides, it was not strictly relevant. You don't have the opportunity to keep talking. Please sit down. Irrespective of your shouting here in the chamber and not behaving properly, I will not give you opportunity to keep behaving like this. You can discuss it among yourselves. The next speaker is Mr. Martin. And besides, if you would like to keep shouting, I would suggest leaving the chamber. But um, how is the no campaign dealing with it? Well, we aren't quite sure how are they doing, but it seems that uh, one of the things they are determined to do is to show Mr. Juncker's photo as often as possible. That they hope will be enough, because the uh, Dutch people know what that means, his photos. It means lies, lies, drinking, and yet more lies. So end of story. But the Commission will probably thinks it is uh, smart enough to get a different result, a good result. But I can tell you that the Dutch people are much, much cleverer than that, and that will become clear very soon. Believe me, your speech would have been sufficient had you not added these words about Mr. Juncker. Now the floor goes to Madame Carnieta.